Today we're here at Mac Farms on the newest piece of property for the farm. Behind me you can see the sheep on the new hillside here. This property has no established roadways, no established water, and no established fencing. We chose to go with sheep over cattle first because of the lesser water demand, but that means we had to come up with some creative fencing solutions in the meantime. Therefore, we chose portable electric netting. And today in this video, we're gonna show you how I go about tearing down, laying out, and moving, setting up my next electric net. So what I like to do when I'm moving electric nets is kind of like a ladder design or a leapfrog system where we set up one net and then as we move and transition, we set up the next net ahead of it and just open up the rung of the ladder into the next net. So the first step we would be doing is tearing down the old net. We're just gonna simply pull the post out and lay it on the ground. We're gonna keep all the feet facing the same direction so that it's easier to gather up. So as we come down the line, just pull the post out and lay them all facing the same direction. Try to keep it neat and organized. So once we make it to our corner post, we're gonna go ahead and disconnect the two corner posts. My energizer is off. We just have to untie some of these ropes and pull our anchor posts out of the ground. So we're untied, unclipped, and pull and remove our last post, and pull our anchor post. Now we can continue to lay down the rest of the existing fence. So what I like to do is come back to the farthest point of the fence to start gathering it up. That way as we're picking up the posts and our load is getting heavier, we're actually getting closer to the location for the new fence. Instead of gathering it all this way and then having to carry the full load to the new destination, we're gonna get closer to that as our load gets heavier. So I just grab the shaft of the post, then I grab the foot of the next post, line the posts up, let the net fold over itself, Grab the next foot, get a hold of the post. This is just gonna trail behind you. you just kind of let it nicely fold over itself. You can do this neatly and not get in a super, super big rush. It'll be a lot easier to pay it out later on. So now I have all the posts in one hand and I can lift it up, kind of get it off the ground to keep it from snagging on anything while we walk to the new paddock. Now that we have all the nets gathered up, we can lay them out to start making the shape and configuration of the next paddock. That's what's so nice about the electric netting. It's flexible enough. You can make it take any shape you need to fit your application. So what I like to do is start with what I know. And what I know is that this corner has to meet up with our next paddock in order to transition the sheep through the gate into the next paddock. So we're gonna start right here. I'll lay out all the netting in its shape and then we'll come back and step in the posts. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pour anchor post from the previous net, get it out of the way. Then with all the posts in the hand, I find my next anchor post and the very first post. And I chuck it up against where that fence leaves off. Now I'm just gonna walk backwards, pull the slack out of it, and that should reveal which post is next. And I just give it a little toss up in the air as I'm walking backwards so that it separates and it doesn't snag on anything.
have our net shape laid out, now we can begin to step these posts into the ground exactly where we want our line to run. So you come up here to your first end post. We're gonna plant it close to our existing net so that there's no gaps when the sheep go to pass through here. I like to get tension on the net and then I give it a little bit of a lean past vertical because we're gonna be pulling tension on the fence as we go. So this just gets it kind of preloaded. So we're gonna step that in the ground. And then the nets do come with tie down stakes. Um, I choose to use additional net posts or step in posts that you might have on the farm already and just have it tied off to a guide wire or an anchor wire. This will be our anchor post. We'll go ahead and set tension on this end post and step this post into the ground. So this will be anchored as we pull tension against the fence. This will keep it from shifting that way. Just try to line it up best you can as you go. Make sure your bottom's tight. You can give a little bit of pull to the top. Just get even pressure on that foot as you step it in. Depending how much vegetation you have, you might have a little bit of stand up at the bottom. You may need to weed whack or trim depending on your situation. Just a few tips when you're stepping in the net posts. If you get into some hard ground and you actually need to stomp on them, do so while both spikes are parallel and that they're not twisted or off center. That can break a foot, so make sure you're applying even pressure while the spikes are parallel. Another tip if you get into hard ground is try to step in the post somewhere where there's a base of a plant or existing manure because the plant roots and the activity happening through the manure paddy will be softer than just the hard ground. The checklist I go through before I move the sheep or before I leave the property is to come to each corner and make sure they're tied together, they're clipped together, and that they have an anchor post. To tie them together, I use the rope that comes on the netting as a bundle. So don't throw this away. Just tie it off to each of your corner posts so that when it meets up with another corner post, you already have your twine or your rope right there. You don't have to go looking for it. I just cinch them together once and then give it a second knot over top of that. So they're tied together. Then next, I take the two metal clips. This is gonna transfer the voltage or the electricity from one net to another. And I just clip them together right like that. So now the electricity will be flowing the whole way around the net. They're tied together. And then I use my step-in post or my extra net post to anchor these. And since we have two different directions of pull, straight on this way and then perpendicular this way, I like to go at an angle so that both directions get a little bit of tension. Look for a good spot to stick it in the ground. Drive it in as a nice anchor. That's nice and tight right there. So we'll go around and do this to all of our corners. And then I have some young trees growing in here. I'm just gonna use wire cages from used woven wire to protect them while the sheep are in there. We'll get the trees protected and then we can open up the netting and move the sheep. Last thing we need to do is just set up the energizer so that we can add voltage to our electric netting. Just gonna drive our ground rod. Our green lead can clip to that. And then I like to weave my positive through and connect it to our metal clips. Make sure the energizer is facing south. Then we turn our energizer on. We should see it flash three times and then start its normal cadence. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out our website for more fencing tips and expert advice.